Hi guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to make a photo transfer wood ornament. First you're just going to need these little wood circles from Michaels. And then next, the picture you're going to want to print out, make sure you print it out on a laser jet printer and not a normal printer like at your house. You can like go to Staples or Office Depot and have them print it out for you. Next, I'm just going to cut it into a circle that fits my piece. And to put it onto the wood, you're going to use Mod Podge. Make sure it's the photo transfer medium. This is what's going to make it stick to the wood and transfer onto there afterwards. Make sure you get a good amount on there and that it's evenly spread out throughout. It's not for me to say. Next, you're just going to want to get anything with the flat surface. I just used a credit card and you're going to want to flatten out all the Mod Podge underneath there and get any bubbles out. If you put a lot, some will probably come out on the sides. So I just take a paper towel to wipe off the excess because it's not going to dry clear. So now it's the next day and my ornament is fully dried. You're going to want to take a little rag and get it pretty damp. First, I'm just patting the water all over it to get it coated. Next, I'm going to start rubbing on a corner. I'm going pretty light. You can start it and see how much pressure you need for the top layer of paper to come off until you get to the picture but you don't want to go too hard to where your picture starts to rub off. If I see that there's a spot that the picture has come off, like in the corner, I just won't go over that part again. I kind of like that in some corners it's come off a little bit. It kind of makes it look more, I don't know, homemade and faded into the wood. I don't know, I like it, but... Yeah, that's okay if it happens, just don't go over that section again. So now once it's dried a little bit, I do go over it a second time. Um, I found that if I don't go over it a second time, there will still be like blurriness and fadedness to the picture. So I go over it a second time but much lighter and I make sure to go around the edges and then over any faces so that they're especially clear when it dries. I make sure to rub off all of the extra paper fuzzies before I go in with the top layer. So this is the satin Mod Podge. They have like different finishes like glossy or matte or anything you want but I chose the satin and I'm just going to go over this with a light layer and wait for it to dry. Next, I'm just getting a rope to tie in the hole and you're going to want to glue where your knot is just so that it doesn't come undone and for that I'm just using a GS Hypo Cement Glue. I got this at Hobby Lobby. I just like it because it has a really fine point so it gets into the crevices of the knot and it dries super super fast and clear but you can probably use any glue that you have. And that's the finished ornament. I hope you guys like it. I hope you recreate it for yourself or for someone else as a gift. So yeah, thanks for watching and make sure to like and subscribe. Bye guys!